Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we have to give a hat tip to Aaron Countryman on Twitter. Uh, he alerted us to this post on WDW Magic, which um, you know we do check. And we've mentioned many times to visit there. But we we didn't see this. Um, we didn't see this. This is coming from WDW Pro, and I'm going to go on record saying he's one of the handful of legit Disney employees, insiders uh -huh. on the board. Him and uh, Marnie. You've been following the, this board for years. Years. Now, I actually haven't been over there as much as I used to be because I'm not. I'm not. Uh, doing the Disney blogging like I used to. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Geeky still is. She has piratesandprincesses.net. But when I was a full-time Disney blogger, I was over there all the time, you know, uh, you know, getting info on the rumors or whatever. And I can tell you there are at least five or six Imagineers or people uh, with Walt Disney Company. Uh, some of them I've actually had private message conversations with that, that do frequent this board. This guy is one of them. And it's interesting because he's saying a lot of the same things we said. Yeah, it's almost like we know what we're talking about. Surprise! <laughs> he's saying a lot of the same things we said about some attractions that could be delayed. And he's also elaborating on what Disney is going to look like after after the shutdown. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to talk about that. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. We're on 104,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We really appreciate it. Um, coming from WW. Pro. Now, this is what's being discussed. Now, you have to remember when rumors are floated mm -hmm. out there. It doesn't mean this is actually going to happen. And a lot of people are like, well, you said so-and-so was going to happen, and then it didn't. A lot of times what happens is it's being discussed internally, right. but it did not get the green light. Um, and that's what's going on here. These are the attractions that are likely to be completed at Walt Disney World you know, uh, after after the shutdown ends. Uh, the Tron coaster, of course. Yeah, it's so far along. Because it's so far along. Guardians of the Galaxy, of Again, course. Again, it's really far. I mean, they already have it built, the building built. Uh, the Cinderella Castle paint job. It's they're a paint job. They're, they're already, already halfway done with it. Ratatouille. Yeah, it's, it's um, it was ready to open the summer. Space 220. It's already ready. They had to replace windows. These are what are being looked at to be delayed. Uh, the Interventions demo. Well, that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Because they have it sitting there open, like the one side's open, the other side's still partly there, but what are they going to do with it? Where they have walls up? Well, the place? Interventions on the other side has, uh, the side towards uh, Mission Space, they have uh, mouse gear in there. Yeah. So, you know, they were going to tear, get, they were going to close the electric umbrella, and then they were going to redo mouse gear, move mouse gear back, and then they were going to demo the building. So now that side's, who knows? Smugglers Run update. I know there wasn't a Smugglers Run. Update. I didn't know there was either. I, I, I'd love for them to go back and do original trilogy for it, uh, unless they're thinking about doing Rise of Skywalker. We don't see enough in it to have an update for. No. I don't know. Harmonious, which nothing of value was lost. Yeah, it looks like. Um, because basically Harmonious, all Harmonious is is one giant circle jerk to to Disney IP, and yeah, I much. really could care less. Uh, nobody wants to see that either. Maybe Deviant or maybe Tumblr. Um, <laughs> anyway, well, these are a little delayed, so you're gonna yeah. probably get it eventually. Okay, so this is what's being looked at for abandonment. And again, we said Disney will ditch things. Basically, they won't throw good money after bad if they think they're gonna lose money. Look what happened to the Pop Century during uh, um, a recession, which wasn't nearly as bad as what's going on right now. They basically left it sit for 10 years until they could do something with it. And that might be what happens here. Uh, Mary Poppins expansion. Could be yeah, gone. they haven't even started it, so that one I can see being abandoned. Uh, Moana expansion could be gone. Is that well, the that's, water? Well, that's probably the water feature. Here's the thing. They're going to do something with it because they have it all tore up. Uh, the unannounced Journey to Imagination upgrade. But they need to... You know what, Disney? If you're going to flip and put money on something, I recommend you put it in the Journey to Imagination because everybody has been asking for that. It's one of the most requested things ever. I think I would, you know, reconsider that one. Star Wars Hotel. That, obviously, because who's got the money to go to there? That's the one we talked about the most. We were like, the Star Wars Hotel, yeah, they're building it right now, but they frankly could use that building for anything. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, who in, you know, the economy is going to be destroyed by this thing, right? It, it's going to take years for it to recover. Who's going to have $3,000 to go LARPing for a weekend? Yeah. You know? Per person. Um, per per Is it per person? I think, well, no, I think it's oh, a lot. God. Um, Galaxy's Edge expansions and upgrades. So there goes any immersion. Oh, you mean the things they were supposed to have to begin with? <laughs> the things they were supposed to have to begin with. The Spaceship Earth refurb, that surprises me. Really? It doesn't surprise me. Well, it's a two-year project. I don't think they're gonna, it doesn't surprise me because they were, it was more than just a, you know, we're going to do a couple changes here from what I'm seeing. They were completely changing. They kept saying, we're not changing much. Oh no, hell no. They were changing a whole bunch of shit. 
And the, I, I know at least from the Industrial Revolution on, it was going to be completely different. And that, unfortunately, is what needs fixed really badly on that attraction. And the ride system needs replaced because it's 40 years old. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see them maybe putting a Band-Aid on it and be like, let's, you know, change the ending. Um, let's do some maintenance on the ride vehicles and let's get a new narrator. I don't know if they'll do any of that, though. I don't know. So we're just going to run with, we're just going to run with the really outdated uh, Spaceship Earth. But then the flip side is, if they don't change it up, they can't ruin it. Mm Mm-hmm. So there's there's that. And of too. course, this is all what they're looking at for abandonment. This is not this is not the list of for sure they're abandoned. Right, right. They could be like, let's you know keep this, but get rid of this. But we or kept whatever. telling you guys things were going to change. They were going to they were going to drop projects. I mean, we knew this was going to happen. We said this was going to happen. Uh, Wonders of Life Pavilion rethink. The play pavilion. Yeah, um, the Coco attraction, which is supposed to be an Mexico. overlay. Yeah, an overlay in Mexico. That actually would. To me, it seems like that'd be a pretty cheap thing to do. I think so, too, because when they did the Three Caballeros, it was only down for like two or three months when they did the overlay. Yeah. So it's not a hard thing. I mean, maybe it's an expensive thing, but that one, I, you know. Uh, the Reflections Lakeside Lodge, DVC. The big expensive, you know, to ching Every other potential addition not listed here. And they do have other things they're yeah, working on. Uh, Br- Brazil Pavilion. That's We've heard that from multiple people. Uh, yeah, Disney's going to be hurt for money. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, Disney does not have infinite money. Okay, they're losing millions and millions of dollars per day that they're, the parks are down. And, yeah, some stuff's going to get cut. They're going to scramble. You know what else is going to get cut, unfortunately? staff members, mm-hmm, cast guaranteed. members. Uh, they'll cut companies, they'll cut divisions, they'll cut whatever they have to to stay solvent. And they'll keep what their their main things, like the movies and the parks. They'll do everything yeah. they can to protect those. Now, here's where it gets interesting. They're like, uh, Disney is currently working on a plan for what reopening Walt Disney World looks like. It's not going to be the same no, on the other side. everything we've been saying. Yep, every week it's shut down, becomes more difficult to reopen. That's it. People don't understand. Like, they can't just flip a switch and turn Disney World on. Mm -hmm. They've got to bring everybody back in. They've got to make sure the place is clean. They got to make sure everything is working. Some of these cast members, if they haven't been on the job for six or eight or 12 weeks, they might need uh, retrained. Right, they need to bring food back in. There's a lot of things. They'll probably bring the cast members back in uh, weeks before they open the park. Yep, yep. So they have to go through all that. They could be there for two weeks before they actually open anything. But everything, it's it's just so funny to me because everybody's like, you don't know what you're talking about. You're full of crap. And everything you were saying is on this post. (laughs) So it's like, everything we were saying. Like, guys, again, you know, people are like, I hate it when you guys brag. We're not trying to brag, okay? But we we worked in and around the Walt Disney Company for years. We have a pretty good beat on how uh, they think. Now, we're not always right. And when we're wrong, we usually come out and say, you know, yeah. we were wrong. This is, no, but you know what? No, I don't care if people say you're being braggy. I really don't give a crap because you know what? We take so much shit from people who keep saying we're wrong. And then it turns out we're right. And it's like, yeah, we told you. And, then, you know, never, but no, people very rarely have come to you and say, oh, my gosh, you're right. I'm so sorry for, for calling you names for being wrong. So if we're a little bit like told you so we have earned the right to be a little bit like told you so because we kept saying this and took so much we didn't change our story we kept with our story took so much crap for it we had uh we had some people in the uh, comments god just the other day it was literally i i couldn't believe it so it's like disney could be down for a year and it wouldn't hurt them i'm like Like bull crap no they can't be down for two weeks are you kidding me they can't Mm -hmm. be down for a year But anyway i mean this isn't about being braggy this is about it's about vindication Okay, so this is the best case scenario. This is if they open in May. Guys, I don't think they're going to open in May. What's well, that thing that's okay. going on? So right now, Disney is doing a thing where if you were booked within, like, I think between the 16th and, and on uh, during the shutdown, that you can rebook your trip uh, after June 1st for dates within this time window. They're going to give you dining, I believe, with it. Um, but no bookings are open uh, for the hotels or restaurants until after June 1st. So at this point, from their own internal what their bookings are allowing they're clearly seeing, thinking they're shut down to June 1st or what they're expecting is to be shut down at least to June 1st Yeah, because you can't book anything unless it's after June 1st and that's that's a best case scenario mm-hmm. I mean that I mean I'm hearing now from people uh, that they're even saying that they expect movie theaters to be closed until December I don't know if it would go that far well okay so China they opened up the movie theaters and then they had to close them down again they were open for like a week and they had to close them down again because you know we started everything up again I don't know I mean nobody knows nobody knows what is going to happen because this is completely uncharted territory right, but we can everybody. take an educated guess and these are where our educated guesses based on our experience okay this sounds about like what they're doing over in Shanghai uh, Magic Kingdom reopens with 50% capacity yep. 
no parades, no fireworks, no right. indoor no theaters. No place where people can be close together. Mm-hmm. Significant number of down rides. Like, uh, again, we were talking the Haunted Mansion. You know, they pile everybody in the stretching room. You can't have that. No, you can't have rides where you're really close together. Uh, Epcot, not currently planned to reopen with the other parks. You said that before anybody else. I want to go on record. He totally said that. Other people came out and said it after him, but he said it. He said it first. Again, the thinking for that was that it, it's a construction zone right now, and they left a lot of their acts go that had been there for decades. They wouldn't have done that if they thought they were coming back in a couple of weeks. Right. And then, then there was the, the issue of having uh, cast members be allowed to ride Spaceship Earth after hours. If they were coming back before the, the scheduled closing date of May 26, why would they do that? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff going on there. Uh Hollywood Studios reopens with 40% capacity, no parades, no indoor theaters. Animal Kingdom reopens with 50% capacity, no indoor theaters. No plans, no plans to reopen Blizzard Beach or Typhoon Lagoon in the near term. Yeah, you want a bunch of uh naked people running around and well, they're not the, naked. They're mostly, you know, you're topless, whatever, and they spit, have tops on. Spit well, Okay, well guys don't. Spit in the water and all that stuff, you know. Peeing in the water. Peeing in the water, all the, the fluids with germs. You don't want that. All ride vehicles would require mandatory wipe down once in station. That'll make the wait times really bad. No character meet and greets. Uh, distancing encouraged. And uh, this the first first comment. People don't even distance themselves at the grocery store. They're not going to do it Agreed. at Disney. I wonder if they'll shutter the Star Wars hotel as long as they shutter the other half of Pop Century. Yep. Yeah. That's what we were talking about. Guys, that's what we've been saying. I mean, of course, it's all right now. It's just what they're talking about internally. But isn't it interesting that pretty much everything we said is what they're talking about internally? Again, we've been around Disney long enough to know how they think. And uh, this is, this is look, this is the absolute worst case scenario for them. Everything's down. You think they're going to throw money at more stuff if they can pull the plug on? I mean, what happens? I'm waiting for them. We had people say they tried waiting for them to pull the plug on the other cruise ships. Now, they've got the one, the Wish, I guess. Or well, it's the already getting constructed, so that one's coming no matter what. But the other two that, you know, they I wouldn't be surprised they didn't try to cancel those orders. Yeah, why? Because nobody's going to nobody's gonna go on a cruise. And even if they have to pay a, a fee, like multi-million dollar fee to cancel it, it's still better than, you know, paying full price. You don't throw good money after bad. And if you can save, uh, you know, $100 million by paying a, a $10 million cancellation fee... Uh, you do it mm-hmm. because at this point it's going to be the difference between the company surviving and uh, the company getting, uh, you know, going into chapter 11 or getting gobbled up by another, another company, you know, Disney, this is the, the worst situation Disney uh, I think has been in at least in recent history. And this is just Walt Disney world. We yeah. don't even know what they're going to cancel Disneyland, even though they're, I, I said it a while ago that the rumor was they might postpone phase two or cancel phase two of the Avengers campus. You know, I don't know what's moving on with that, but. Yeah, it's it's going to be bad. And, you know, here's the thing, too. Uh, we talked before about, you know, we've got so many of these, uh, you know, wine moms out there in these Disney boards. They're like, oh, my God, I can't wait to go in the fall when it's, you know, it's going to be so magical and there's not going to be very many people. It's like, yeah, there's not going to be very many people. There might not be characters. The rides might be down. Oh, I beg to differ because everybody's being rescheduled in that window with free dining. Yeah. You better damn believe there's going to be a lot of people still. I mean, whether or not a lot of attractions and stuff, but I mean, the hotels and things. I mean, if you go down the list, we're going to go through this thread a little more, but they're even talking that Guardians of the Galaxy might be abandoned and, and it just sits there. Yeah, it's still pretty far off for opening, but they've got quite a bit of it done and they can just leave it there until they get the money for it. Yeah, they could. They've done it before. Again, look at what happened with Pop Century, mm-hmm. and then when they finally had time to, and the money to go back to it, they they rethemed it because they're like, well, um, an animation hotel makes more sense than doing the tens. You can get the more 40s. money out of suites than you could yes. uh, value resort rooms. Yes, um, and I honestly think that uh, you know, Star Wars Hotel. I think they'll pull the plug, but I think they'll go back to it and maybe make it like just a you know a general hotel and not a LARPing experience or yeah. something. But it could be years. Yeah. It'll be Mandalorian. Well, I like the last part of this. Yeah, Mandalorian. That's right. Baby Yoda. Uh, the last part's interesting, though. They're saying uh, the whole company could, at that point, if they can't get open through summer, uh, look at bankrupt, be faced with bankruptcy. So right now, was it you say it's 40% chance? Uh, somebody told me, yeah, there's a, there's a site out there that said it was 41% chance of bankruptcy. And again, people don't understand what bankruptcy means. It doesn't mean that the company is going out of business. It basically means that the creditors can't come after them while they, they reorganize everything. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I kind of laughed at the, uh, the Apple acquisition idea at first, but now I'm starting to think, you know what? Comcast is going to come out of this thing in much better shape because they've got, 
uh, or Universal is because they've got Comcast bankrolling mm-hmm. them. People are still paying their internet bills, you know, and uh, their cable bills, and that money can help Universal, whereas Disney doesn't have a backup. It's so theme Disney parks and movies. Bus. Yeah, but it's nowhere near making right. the kind of... They're still in the whole And ESPN, billions. people probably cancel ESPN because they don't want to watch, yeah, you know, Disney sports movies. Yeah, so um, this, this could be dire, and people... Disney's fine. They can go for a couple of years without being open. It's going to be great. No, they can't. Sorry. <laughs> so it's whatever's going to happen. Um, clearly, they're they're talking about uh, some major major cuts when they mm-hmm. come back online, and that's again after just a couple of weeks. If this thing drags on for months, I don't even know what to expect. I don't either. You know, I, I don't think they know what to expect. I think you know staff cuts for sure, um, and it, you know any any potential new attractions. I mean, it's been great the last couple of years that they've been having all kinds of new attractions. But I think we're going to look at the ninety. We're going to look at a situation like um, the nineties and early two yeah. thousands again, where there's nothing new, right? For years, years and years and years. I don't know if we're going to go that far, but I think that's going to be it's going to be drug out. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. We'll talk to you guys later today. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, well, that's the plan. <laughs> All right. See ya. Bye. Hey, guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.